Hello everyone, my name's Ilir2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of Victoria 2 with the HPM mod with the Empire of Mexico. Yes, so in the last episode we have dismantled the American Empire. Well, okay. Well, technically speaking, they couldn't really dismantle at all because, well, no one has cores on them right now, so... All we really did was make sure that they can't build any more armies, force them to pay me money, and gain a ton of prestige. I am now in 6th place, and the Confederacy is in 8th place. Yeah. You also have Communist Britain and Nazi Germany here. Oh, fun times, fun times indeed. I'd also like to point out how completely similar Italy and uh, Mexico's flag is, and I hate it. But whatever, so now I'm... I think we were planning on uh, taking over Cuba over here. They have no friends, right? Yeah, no friends at all. That's good. That's very good. So we need to decrease relations a little bit. And continue on. Bolivia is having some rebels. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Anarcho-liberals. Well, <laughs> good luck. Idiots. What are you guys? Venezuela, you're still a proletarian dictatorship. Good for you. All right, so let's speed along here. Oh, hey, Puerto Rico is freed. Good for you. We're allies with Italy? Italy, Italian German war. Yeah, screw you, Italy. I lost three prestige from that, but it's like, I really don't give a shit about you, Italy. Sorry. Look at that. We're making four, five, six thousand people every month. And America, the United States, I should say, is only making like a fourth of that, which is fantastic. All right, Cuba. Really? Again? God, stop increasing relations with me. God damn it. Alright, 26th of August. Oh my god, they did it again! Holy shit! Uh, interwar cavalry, cool. Come on. Oh, they're allied with Haiti? Oh no, I forgot. No more war. Right. So we have that for another year. So we can wait. Social responsibility, yada yada yada. We are getting some rebels, isn't? But of course, that's not so bad. We can deal with them. Uh, how many armies do we have up here? Let's move them down to New York, New York. Oh, and you guys. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And then you guys can split up into a pretty balanced army. I'd say it's. It's kind of, sort of, balanced. And you guys and you guys are fine. Uh, where is... Oh, right. It's all the way up here, isn't it? It is. Shit. Well, try and get down here. ASAP. So we need... Actually, just, just get down here. We can transport those soldiers. And, of course, we still have El Salvador. Now completely freed. No one has them under their sphere. And, basically, no one cares about them. Only 158,000 people. They're still a presidential dictatorship, which is kind of sad, but whatever. God, I love how the Confederacy is so much more powerful. 20% fascists in the upper house. That is amazing. Uh, proportional representation? Shall we? Yeah, I think so. So we can get more fascists in here, huh? Huh? Good idea. Now, it's weird how I'm getting social reforms, and yet... The fascists oppose political reforms. Yeah, they, they want removal of political reforms, but, you know, progress of social reforms. So, I don't know. I don't know what's up with them, and I don't know why I'm getting all these political reforms. I should be getting all the social reforms. I am, but still. Seems weird. Seems very weird to me. How many, um, Mexicans we have now, huh? Ooh, wow. Only 37%. Almost... Almost, wow. A lot of fucking Yankees, huh? And there's a ton of the others. Ooh, yes, more fascists. Please and thank you. Party, yeah. Loyalty is very conservative everywhere. How's culture, huh? Looks like, yeah, California is still heavily Native American. Granted, those are accepted now. Those, they, I'm sorry. I don't mean to insult any Native Americans there. <laughs> those people. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep losing prestige, decrease, um, crises. In fact, we are gaining crises. That's not good. Um, let's suppress them now before it's too late. Is she getting Texan nationalists? Really? Yes, more 
More fascists. Uh, Texans, do you still exist? Oh, you do. Uh, very small amount, though. Nahua, Afro-American, Mexican. Odd. Let's get great war experience. Cuba, how many techs do you have? You have 23. Oh, that's okay. Germany is now um, beyond the workers' union. Or workers' commonwealth, I should say. Low pensions? Nah, no. I don't really give a shit about that. Again, I love the color of Germany when they turn Nazi. It's awesome. There's still a couple of republics and kingdoms alive. Not many, though. Sad. Very, very sad. And Ireland, yep, is a free country. Good job. Good job surviving Ireland. Oh, it's an Ireland. All right, get over there. Why don't you guys just combine as one big army? You still have to wait till no more war is finished. And, you know, let, let's screw Guatemala. I don't give a shit about them. Come on, don't increase relations again, you fucking asshole. Peru. What do we have here? Communists. Eh, that's not good. I can't have any commies under me now, can I? Migrations. Ooh, there's still people migrating away. Ooh, Australia, right. I forgot Australia and New Zealand are probably freed. Yeah. Good job for you guys. Good job. Oh, whoa, whoa, Yakuman rebels all over India. Well, I can tell you right now, they're probably going to lose India. Probably, but no guarantee. Oh, yay, Nobel Prize. Good for us. Oh, French communists all over Africa. I'm surprised they aren't losing their lands there. All right, Cuba. Jeez, Jesus fucking Christ, if you increase relations again, I'm going to smash my head into the desk. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, cool. Finally, we can justify a conquest, and of course, I will be safe scumming. So, uh, just FYI, I definitely do not have enough infamy. I can tell you that much. Yes, more fascism. More, better, stronger. Um, we really could just get rid of conscription altogether. Or we can get, you know, trade unions. It's a good thing too, I guess. I guess. I guess it's a good thing. Look at that. 71% education. We're very well educated. Good for us. Airplane organization. That's great. We don't even have any planes. Uh, oh, no. There we go. All right. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys. We only got 4.2 infamy from that. Let's get ready. We only have how many days left? Oh, God damn it. I forgot about the autosave. I always forget about the autosave. You have about a month left to get over there. So let's get over there. Go over to Havana. I'm sure they have all their soldiers in Havana, actually. Let's get over there. <gasps> American communists! Oh, shit. Oh, and they're at war with the U... The, um, not UK. This CSA? For what? Acquiring Pennsylvania? The Amer... The Confederate... American Restoration? What the fuck? What? How, how, whoa, how is the Confederacy going to war? Never mind, but the People's Republic. Oh, shit. America's finally collapsed. No more American Republic. Now the proletariat has risen. Glorious day for them. And we're getting like 10,000 immigrants, which is fantastic. Oh, my God. Wait, what does this mean? All right, so they want to acquire Pennsylvania. That's it. Now they want to liberate Illinois. What does that, what does it mean, liberate? I have no idea what that means. Whatever. All right, Cuba, prepare to die. Oh, and they have little tanks. How cute. Well, that's not going to be enough. Sorry. Oh, they are mobilizing the forces. Eh, good for them. Let's just take over some lands. Get some modern army doctrine. Holy shit, the People's Republic of America. This is fantastic. Glorious day. Glorious day indeed. What are you acquiring now? Nope. Just liberating. Just liberating. Uh, of course, the Confederacy. We are allies. No, we aren't allies. Why aren't we allies? Infamy. Oh, well. Confederacy, let's be friends. Let's always be the bestest of friends. Because uh, you, my good sir, are going to be a fantastic ally if we can get your, the alliance back. Let's go back to Havana. 
Oh, now we have rebels. What are these? No idea. Never mind. Oh. Uh, I think they were Yakubins. Whatever. Um, Non-socialists? Actually, I will allow that. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. We did have some more exhaustion before we started the war, so, you know, it's going to be a little bit awkward there. Uh, yes, poor Strata can become more fascist. Become more fascist, my children. Yes. Good, good, good. Fascists shall rule my land. So, navies. Uh-oh, that's steamers. Those are steamers. Land, 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 and you're all going to die. Actually, no, we only lost one transport. Cool. But we only have 19 transports now. Fuck. That's not good. Oh, we actually had armies there. Cute. Oh, whatever. They should fall any time now. There we go. Land, liberty, labor in the Hawaiian Islands, or Chiapas get baby boom. Um, yeah, sure. Land, liberty, labor in the, um... Ooh, I forgot about Guantanamo Bay and how that's a thing. Or at the very least, that's a thing in this mod. Come on, be more fascist. All right, so what's going on up here? Oh, so Illinois got liberated. Where's our capital now? New Jersey? Where's capital? What are these? American fascists. Oh, shit. Where's the capital of the U.S.? Now, we could really fuck with the U.S. No idea. Eh, whatever. America's collapsed. Good for them. All right, down to Guantanamo. Oh, actually, getting attacked in Leon. Didn't notice that. A lot more fascism. Oh, hey, Haiti. How cute. You guys think you're actually doing something. Spoilers, you're not. 20% war exhaustion. All right, so Cuba, that should be peace. They have how many? Oh, not even a million men. How sad. But there we have it. Mexican Cuba. Now we shall move on to El Salvador. Look at that. The Confederacy is a great country. Great, great job, guys. Fantastic work. You guys are the real MVPs, you know that? Whatever. Come on, give me it all. Give me it all. Oil refineries. Awesome. I like how the Confederacy is now, like, the saviors of America. <laughs> They've, they're saving the people in Illinois and Pennsylvania and stuff like that. They're all just falling apart. It's fantastic. All right, trade unions go non-socialist allowed. All right, and bring these guys home and prepare the fabrication of conquest on El Salvador. We will save their people from the dictatorship and finally unify what is left of the FRCA. What a glorious day it will be. Set it to go monthly. Yeah, we still have that war exhaustion, which is fine. Mexican Oklahoma. Or this get... No, no. Be more fascist. I'm alright with that. And be more conscious. And that's fine. Damn it! Alright. So I'll see you guys in just a second again. Alright, and we got no infamy for that. Fantastic. Alright, so why don't you land in La Ceiba? Damn, this is just... This is great. So... America's falling apart. Now they have American fascists. Where is their capital? I have no idea. Is it like somewhere out west? <gasps> it's in what? It's in fucking Seattle. Holy shit. Okay. They moved all the way to the west coast. You know, whatever. Um, oh, hey. British fas fascists. I thought they were fascists. Oh, no. Well, they were, and then they didn't. And whatever. All right. El Salvador. Let's conquer you. Once and for all, finally clean up the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immigrant attraction goes down. That's fine. We didn't need any goddamn immigrants anyways. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Immigrants have really helped this country out. Uh, great, great job, immigrants. You, uh, 11. Wow, we have so many people. Mostly because of immigration. We've been getting so many immigrants because the war is going on in, uh, the Americas. Well, both North... Well, not North. Both, um... The Confederacy and the People's Republic of America. I wonder what the Confederacy would be if they turned communist. Would they be the People's Republic of America? That one only makes sense because they're both considered America. You know? Hmm, whatever. 
Uh, low pensions. No, I want to get more social reforms. And there we go again. El Salvador, finally under our sphere. So now we can reform the Federal Republic of Central America. We'd have to release the FRCA. Why would we do that? I don't know. Oh, and we also began losing cores on Oklahoma, which I'm actually okay with. Because I don't plan on taking over that land, so it's okay. And all these projects, yes, continue to build them up. Uh, I'd, ra I'd rather be jingoist, not just pro-military. Distinuated states. Oh, there we have it. All right. So, um, with the end of the, the democratic uh, government of the United States, there is a growing feeling among many Americans that the principles upon which the country were founded no longer apply. Talk of secession is frequent, if quiet, and as unrest begins to grow, it becomes increasingly more possible that liberal-minded states will attempt to pull out of the Union. If they do, we must be ready. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, the fall of America, where multiple um, different countries will pop out of the United States because they became a dictatorship. So, that is what I've been waiting for all this time. That's a good thing. Let's have all allowed trade unions... Peru wants an alliance. Again, I'm okay with that. Venezuela is a fascist dictatorship now. Good for them. Empire Brazil. Are we still buds? We are not. Well, let's form an alliance because we're supposed to be. What are you What are you doing this on? Oh, Burma. Well, good luck, Japan. CSA, come on. Let's be buds. They still won't accept. Too many alliances. Oh. Well, they're allied with Kanukistan them and they're actually just behind us in points aren't they yeah well i mean 600 points but that's still still a good amount good for them good for them they are strong look how strong that is 58 ships probably a lot of dreadnoughts sadly i couldn't get any in this game liberals won oh wow did not expect that much well no we're not gonna have liberals win sorry Oh, shit, and tax living shit out of everyone, like it should be. Thank you. And everyone's coming to my country? Yes, they are. Way more than the CSA. That's amazing. Where are they all running off to? Ooh, Ohio's getting a lot. A lot of people are running away to Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. Well, that's smart, to be honest. A lot of Havana. Not Havana, but Cuba in general. Good, good. So many people. Confederacy, how many people you have? I still have more than, than the CSA. Hey, that's great. Oh, shit. Yes, keep them open. Oh, no. I forgot the liberals went Laz's Fair. They probably closed down a lot of factories. Or closed down just the one, but put a lot of people out of work, I think. And that's no bueno. Get it? Because I'm Mexican, I can say that. Well, I'm not actually Mexican. I'm playing Mexican, but you know what I mean. <sighs> So, are you guys going to start seceding or nah? Because I know there's the New American Alliance and the Free States of America that'll pop out. I kind of want to see them. New England is still... You know, I just noticed. I just realized. Yeah, they're probably influencing New England a lot. Yeah, they are. Well, get out, Confederacy. They're my little buddy. All right, social alienation. Good for us. Let's get electrical power generation. Um, again, I don't understand how we have electricity and yet no electrical power generation. Doesn't really make much sense, but whatever. Whatever. Peru is starting to have from rebels. That's fine. It's always fine. Zalgu, man. Man, Zalgu. God, look at... Whoa. Did we lose a ton of money? I think we did. At one point. Maybe when we built all the uh, factories. I don't know. Or supported all the projects. I don't know. I'm really just giving them as much money as I can. As often as I can. Because our industry needs to be huge. Especially now that the um, Confederacy is a thing. You know, let's go down the one year draft. We don't need that. We honestly need no draft. We, we'll, we'll no longer have a draft. And it'll be all good for us. Uh, fascists have actually dropped below 20%. I'm surprised. And a lot more socialists. Odd. Very odd. But whatever. Still the fascists rise up in Michigan and Indiana. Good for them. 
But I like how they said liberal-minded states. Do they even have liberal? No, they have like no liberals left. In fact, you guys have a lot of um liberals and socialists down in freaking the Confederacy. And that's the Confederacy. Which is weird. Ooh, yes. So I hosted the 8th Olympiad Games. Fantastic. Look how far. Damn, we're right behind, J uh, not Japan, uh, France. Fantastic. And our athletes are victorious. Cool. Germany's still a fascist. Czechoslovakia is a thing. Cute. So do you guys still have cores on this? You still do. I don't know why you're not going for them. I would. Russia is still big and strong. I've honestly never seen them be this powerful. Oh, oh, India collapsed. India has completely collapsed. Good for them. Good for them. So we have Iceland and Green and Scandinavia and Greenland. Hmm. Well, we have a truce. Well, are, we've lost our truce with the U.S., right? No. Wow. Still a truce. Wait, how are they getting influenced by the CSA? No, they aren't. <coughs> they are not. We could puppet them. <gasps> we could make... Oh, shit. We can make America into a kingdom. Oh, shit. That's what I want to do. <gasps> All right. Let's get no draft because we don't need a draft anymore. America, you guys have like no armies left, right? Yeah, you only have 2.3 million people. It's kind of sad. Let's get synthetic polymers. We can make America into the kingdom, the empire of America. In fact, they could be under the empire of Mexico. And that would be amazing. Holy shit. Okay, we got to do that. Let's decrease the opinion of the Confederacy down to cordial. Yeah, you guys aren't going to have New England under you. Sorry, just not. Confederacy, don't hate on me, yo. They have cores on me? They do not have any cores on me. Good, good, good. But we need to continue to be strong. Uh, be as strong as possible. Let's get 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 20, that's another 20, let's get 25, there we go, 50, so that's 50 new armies, some of them are going to be in New York, although, do we have military access, can we have military access, we, damn, they just hate us, they fucking despise us, Canada, how strong are you, 80, Jesus, you're going to become a great power, I mean, good for you, but still, still, damn, whatever, all right, ban... Oh, damn, the Confederacy got up to friendly again. We'll ban the Confederacy yet again. As long as we stay strong and have our allies with us, we shouldn't have to fear them. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to lose the last claim on Oklahoma and Oklahoma City. That's all right. That's A-OK -okay with me. I am not planning on going to war with the Confederacy anytime soon. I'm going to let this episode go on a little bit longer so that we... <sighs> Break our truce or end the truce, really. When does the fucking truce end? Oh my god, two more years? That may be, I think that's gonna be the last war. Oh, British. War for British control over Hyperbad. Damn, the British are still trying to fight, huh? I'll be honest, I am impressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep building stuff in these areas and I'll expand the factories as much as possible. Alright, we can get a new reform. Fine, low pensions, I'm okay with that. Get as many reforms as possible. We're probably getting a crap ton of immigrants, or at least, yeah, we're getting double the immigrants of the Confederacy. And of course, America is not getting any immigrants. We are probably the most socially progressive in the. Ooh. No, no, no. Rich. Rich Strata, you cannot. We're not lowering the minimum wage. Fight for. Fi hashtag fight for 15. Uh, Alright. Uh, fascist soup kitchens. Again, we're going to allow it. Completely legal. Completely legal to do that. Uh, look at that. Over a thousand industry. We're getting very close to you, France. Very close indeed. How many points do you have? Oh, you have a thousand. You need a break. Oh, you're never going to get that high. Sorry, Canada. Doesn't look like you're ever going to become a great power. Oh, American fascists risen up in um, Joyzy. Cool. Cool. I wonder if they're going to... They're probably going to go to war with the uh, United States again. They have cores, yeah, all over that area. In it, well, including me. So even if I do puppet them, I'm not sure we can be allies. Because they have cores on me. But again, having the Empire of America is going to be hilarious. I'm definitely going to do that. 
Definitely. Man, damn, look at all these craftsmen. Uh, acceptable pensions. We are going to be... Is this all? Yeah, I think we're going to have all political reforms and all social reforms. Power to the people. Power to the people. Even though I was planning on going fascist, it just doesn't seem like I'm going to ever go fascist. We'll just have the fascist in power. Should, that should be good enough for them. You guys all grew up and up in New York. Hey, I'm alright with that. Go down to uh, Long Island. Should be fine down there. Right, so you're all trapped up in here, aren't you? Oh, no. That uh, 51,000 has to get out. Ohio. You guys can be nice and strong. Uh, you, you guys can go over there. What kind of an army is this? Just entirely infantry. Oh, oh whatever. Damn, 89,000. 89,000 Americans risen up in that area. All right, Lazy Qinghai. Uh, Western Transylvania. Oh, that's Romania? Jeez, that's a beautiful flag, Romania. Again, I love the color red, so... Oh my god, the, this, the Balkans is disgusting. She is young. Oh, hey! The Qing, you're a civilized nation now. Congrats! Uh, oh, hey, the Temperance League. Finally, we have the Temperance League. Never thought I'd see them. Like, ever. Uh, so, Qinghai, Zhejiang is... No, Mongolia is still a satellite. Cool. Cool. British still trying to hold on to control that area. Algeria is freed, but in an awkward manner. Scandinavia still owns some land. Oh, yeah, that's Germany, the big black blob. Ooh, it's South Africa. Hey, are you guys... I'm sure you guys are gonna getting migrants, aren't you? No, actually. Sad. Oh, my God. 11,000 people. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, good pensions. We're gonna be spending a lot of peop a lot of money on our people. Yeah, a lot of fucking money on our people. Full welfare states. Good for us. So I'm sure we're, yeah, we're getting a lot more than the Confederacy. Fuck you, Confederacy. Everyone loves my country. 16,000! Holy shit! Oh my god, we have way too many people. Way too fucking many people. Alright, everyone, get on the border of the U.S. We're getting ready to destroy them, or not destroy them, but to liberate their poor people. What are these? American fascists now risen up in that area. Are they? Nope. Not in um, their mainland. They're all popping up here for some reason. They have a lot of fascists in there. It's become more moralist and conservative. I'm okay with that. The craftsmen continue to build up. Uh, great day. Great day. Yep, but they're coming in, squishing them. They have an army. It's all. It looks pretty much unified into one big death stack. But I think I can handle it. All right, all of you guys, you can find there. Again, you're just entirely um, infantry. Which is cool, I guess. Look at that. We can get 226 mobilized with it being completely, like, volunteer. That is a complete volunteer. That is jingoism. That is pride in your country. I'm sure you guys are going to go to war again. Eventually, on the 12th of October. I'm sure of it. And then afterwards, I'll join in another war with them and cause the Empire of America to join. Although, I think this is going to be our second to last episode. So next episode is going to be the final episode. And we are in fourth place. I just noticed that. Well, hopefully in the next episode, we can cause America to become free again. To become a constitutional monarchy. Uh, place a puppet on the throne. It'll be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Alira 2 and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.